The key to finding a vaccine for COVID-19 could come from Kansas City, one group conducting several clinical trials on vaccines right now. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan joins us with a closer look at what's happening, Charlie. Brian, I spoke to Dr. John Irvin of the Center for Pharmaceutical Research in this medical building here behind me, and he says the work that him and his team are doing right now to test these potential COVID-19 vaccines are the most important work he's done in his career. Now, right now, they're conducting two different trials, one for Moderna and one for Inovio, two companies you've probably heard about. We're going to talk about the Inovio vaccine because this is a first-of-its-kind DNA vaccine, something that's never been approved for human use before. You know, a traditional vaccine uses a live or weakened version of the virus to help you create immunity. This does not use any part of the virus. It basically injects you with a genetic sequence of DNA that then tricks your cells into creating that immunity. Dr. Irvin says the participants in this clinical trial should be very proud. I think they're going to be feel very good to tell their grandchildren, uh, assuming this all works out, that they were very much involved with the uh, solution to the you know, first pandemic we've had in over 100 years. All right, phase one of the Inovio vaccine trial is complete. The company says they had a 94% success rate. They're moving on now to subsequent phases and then have to go through several process and several more months before they'll find out if the FDA approves this vaccine, Lindsay. Charlie, what are some of the benefits of a DNA vaccine versus the traditional vaccine we're used to? So Dr. Irvin said that the first benefit is it doesn't need to be refrigerated. DNA vaccines can be stored and transported at room temperature, which means you can get them to all corners of the world, whether there's electricity there or not. And since it doesn't use a part of the virus itself, you can, in theory, give this vaccine to folks with a deficient immune system, like someone who might be on chemotherapy, for example. Lindsay? Interesting. Wow, it's fascinating stuff. Charlie, thank you.